Hi everybody, Ben here from Atlas Ordinary. So, tonight I am doing something different. What I have decided to do is I'm going to make up some of these coasters. So, um, I can't combine videos yet, so I have to do this a little bit differently for you guys. So, what I have done is I have just a plain square coaster which I have put um, a small layer of resin at the bottom. Just a very thin layer, just so I've got something to work onto. Then what I get is I've got a, I'm using PBO porcelain. So it's a porcelain liner. So it's virtually got this pointy tip and it's quite thick. So, and the color I've got is a uh, pewter, I think, pewter. So it's very metallic. And what it does is, it gives you these more rigid lines. So as you can see, I'm, <laughs> I'm not actually the best artist as in drawing things that look like things. I downloaded a um, image off the internet, which was just a, um, a hummingbird. And I have just put it underneath and tried to trace over it as good as I could. So as you can see, you can see through the clear. Um, it does take practice, I think, to use this PBO outliner. Um, it's not, it's, it's probably easy if you know how to draw, but I'm, I'm not actually the very best drawer. Um, that's why I like acrylic pouring because I can be artistic which I love but um, I don't actually have to know how to draw so this is virtually what I've done they're similar-ish this one here's got a much better beak in it but the wings are a little bit messed up so it's just taken me a little bit of time to to get this but I'm gonna do it anyway because I really like the idea and you gotta start somewhere so even if it's not 100% perfect, it's still fun for me and um, I'm enjoying it. So, that's where I'm at today. But what we're going to do is, I want to colour in this bird. And I'm going to do it with glitter. So, I just have some... I got chunky glitter for this one because I thought they would look a little bit more like a feather compared to um, really fine glitter. So I'm just going to put some in this um, lid. I thought if I use the um, top of a lid, I can actually still use it as a lid in a, um, a paint. So that's that bit. Now i just got to be careful. I don't want to pour out way too much but I need enough let's try that then I'm just gonna get my paintbrush and mix it in might have actually put a little bit too much of the varnish down because I don't really want there to be gaps as such and then what we do is, we're picking some up. So what colour? I actually think I've done the wrong colour first. I have. So, that's an easy enough fix. Just wipe off the paintbrush. And... Being feathers, it wouldn't matter if I got a tiny little bit of that in um, the other colour anyway because birds' feathers aren't always completely uniform. So all I'm using is Josonia's Gloss Varnish. So I had this for um, other stuff that I do in my art, like blooms and everything. So what I'm, it's just binding the glitter with the with something so then when i put it on it will stick 
So the hard part is it's going to be doing this delicately. So you got to so you got to try and get it in there without getting it on the overline overlap. Um, also, I did this hours ago and it's dried. So um, I did it this morning. So well, I did it quite early. So it's probably been a good twelve hours. And you can use um, finer glitter if you like. I just kind of want this to look a little bit like petals. So all I'm doing is just virtually dabbing it into these areas. to mimic the look of um, feathers. I might have to grab a toothpick actually, so I can push them around a little bit, get them in the little areas that I want them to be in. So I'm trying to use pretty hummingbirdy kind of colours in this. Um, I actually have never seen a hummingbird in real life, so I'm just going by what pictures I see on the internet. But my mum loves hummingbirds, and I think she's going to see this video probably before she actually gets given this as a present. So, I can't really say we won't let her know because I know she watches my videos, so... But we'll pretend that she doesn't know. <laughs> so what I just want to do is just get these areas covered. So you can use different stuff. You can use mica um, in this. And if I go quiet for a second, that's just because I'm concentrating. I was hoping for the wings to be a little bit more defined so it was easier to get this glitter in. Um, but as they say, practice will make perfect. So as I get to do more of them, I will actually um, hopefully be a little bit more proficient with the outliner. And I do think I have more, probably could have used a little bit less of the varnish in my mix here. You just need something to hold the glitter together. And when it dries, it will actually um, stick. So this, the glitter will, will actually be adhered to the coaster. And with the outliner, you can also rub it off when it's still wet and try to um, redo it. I did it in a couple of spots and I actually found I wasn't really fixing up areas. I think I was making a little bit more of a mess than actually fixing it up. That's about it, because I kind of want to get a blended look to it. So, what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to push a lot of the glitter into one spot. And the varnish will end up spreading out anyway. And we just want to do the same thing on both. Well, I 
you can do them differently. I want to do these as a matching pair if I'm able to. As much as I can. I know my um, my artwork wasn't as good as I would have liked it to have been. But this is homemade art. It's not shop brought. It really is supposed to have some like variation in it. And you don't want it to look like it's overly basic, but it doesn't matter if it's a little bit um, unique, as in it doesn't look as uniform as you would have preferred. As we know, we all want to do our best, but there's no point in trying to make everything absolutely perfect. I kind of don't want this to look like it came out of a factory. And if you wanted some more definition, you could actually mix um, thicker, not chunkier, and not so chunky um, glitters together, which would give you a slightly different effect. And like I said, I go quiet when I'm concentrating. I can be a little bit where I can't do overly too many things at once. I can with work because I know what I'm doing at work, but here with art, I just go a little bit quiet because I'm concentrating. I actually need a little bit more glitter in there just because I feel like it's getting a little bit thin um, the also the other reason why I don't put glitter like put um, something in here and pour glitter on is because when I go to do second color and third color they will get stuck to these other the first colors so I find doing it this way you can be a lot more precise without getting um, virtually all your colours mixed up. Okay, I'm going to leave it as that because I want to do some blending. So again, I just wipe the paintbrush because I don't have any mica or small glitter I've just got chunky glitter so it will just stick to my paper towel so now I am going to do the darker blue oh. so with the darker blue I want that more as the body so we're going to start up. I think I I'm at the same spot where I would like this a little bit more solid. Ooh. 
more glitter fell in that than I thought, not well, planned. Just got to make sure that it's coated in the varnish so then it sticks. You don't want floating bits. And you can do whatever kind of colors you like. You could just do this um, like black and gold or something like that. I just really wanted hummingbird color. Well, from the pictures I see, hummingbirds are bright and colorful and And I thought the shape of these, this glitter really does represent kind of feathers. And if you wanted to be extra precise, which I may do, you could get a toothpick and just, if there's one or two that are not where they should be, you could just rearrange them a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to do this a little bit. I don't want it to be so much of a defined line between the colours. So, I got tons of the blue left over. I really need to make up a smaller batch. Where did I, oh, up here. So, all as I'm doing is just squirting a little bit on, which really, I think, the first two I might have used a bit too much varnish. This one I gotta open up. This one didn't come in a container, it comes in a bag. So I'm hoping to use up one of the colours so then I get an extra bag. Actually I don't really want to cut that, I might just open it with my hands. So these are what I've done earlier, a turtle and a butterfly. They're actually see-through at the back, um, it's just because I've got them on a pink mat. So they were my test runs to see if I could do um, the hummingbirds. I didn't want my mum's one to be the test run, I wanted to try Try it out first. Sorry, I should have opened up this bag earlier. So because I'm getting glitter everywhere, I'm actually going to pinch it. while I can. I don't want it to go everywhere. And if you've got loose ones on your hands, brush them off so they don't go into your other colours. Alrighty. Now, 
I want to do these parts of the wings. could do it a little bit more glitter in that. I want it a bit more dense. Hopefully that's gonna give me what I want. So yeah, I don't think you guys have actually seen me work with glitter before because I'm a kind of, being a guy, I kind of look at glitter as a bit girly. Even though I actually quite like glitter, but I find the artwork pieces that have glitter in them are probably a little bit more feminine than my style. Um, even though I like pretty colourful things, um, I tend to still be a little bit masculine with what I want in my house. I'm going to do the head first, just because I want that bit to be a bit more solid. Because it the head will definitely be a focal point. So the hard part with this one was is actually the beak. They didn't do the beak as good as um, this one. So I'm a little bit worried about what I should do with that beak. Must be sticking my hands in something. And I really want you guys to give me a real good honest opinion about these. Um, I know in time they will be even better again. But I think for just starting them out, um, I'm actually not doing too bad. It's like everything. Same with acrylic pouring. You get better as you do more. Um, if you expect to be the absolute stunning artist after a, doing two or three artworks, it, it, not saying it can't happen, but it's not really what will happen. Um, Sometimes we all have beginner's luck, but then usually it doesn't always stay. So this is the the porcelain paint. I'm going to fill that beak in with it, I think, because um, I don't think it's going to look correct if I use... Yeah. 
not as good as I would, was hoping. But you know what? These are for my mum. My mum's going to love them because I made them anyway. And they are. They're from my heart. Um, I'm not just randomly making stuff just for the fun of it. Um, well, I do often, but these I'm actually making because my mum loves hummingbirds and I've been wanting to make her something that she can use for a while. I just wasn't too sure. It's a matter of finding the right um, artwork that would suit both mum and dad's style. So at least these here, mum can just have them on a coffee table. Now, for the background, I have not quite figured out what I want to do with that. I feel like if I leave it plain, it's going to be too plain. But if I do too much, um, I'm actually thinking I should put something on there. All right, we're gonna try and see how this goes. So this is going to be a fine glitter. And I think I'm going to put in some of this first. I'm gonna need more, I might have to make up a second batch. These lids aren't too big. All right, let me check how long I've been going for on the video because I can't go for too long. I don't want to bore you guys. Ooh, 27 minutes. Okay, that's going longer than I planned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a scoop of this. Which is kind of like a rainbow dust. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to paint this on, off camera, and I'll come back once I have it done, okay? So, we'll pause it for now, and I'll be back soon. Alrighty guys, so, I have done that one. So, all I did was the same thing, I just put um, the gloss varnish in the lid, poured in, well, I actually scooped in some black rainbow glitter so but I don't want it solid I want it fine so you can actually see through it so I wanted these to be like the other ones a stained glass look so where are we whatever you put underneath you'll see through it to a degree especially once the varnish dries it won't be completely transparent but you put turquoise under it you will get a turquoise back. So that was my plan. But the best thing about these is the image is on the top of the coaster, not on the base. So if you find that you, your coffee table or wherever you've put these coasters is um, virtually too dark or a color that you don't see your image through as good as you would like, you can paint the back of these a white, just a opaque white, or whatever colour you want, to enhance or to show through this image underneath. So this one here, what I have done is I've used mica powders in this turtle, and I've done glitters. So this one here is very, um, it's like frosted glass. This one here is very see-through. The turtle is bits and pieces, some of glitter, some have glitter and mica together. Um, then with the butterfly, I did the same type of thing. I've got frosted, I've got see-through, and I've got glitters, and I've got micas. So these were my, my practice runs to see how they go, and I'm really, really happy with them. Um, I love these little hummingbirds. I think they're going to be awesome once they are um, completely finished. So from here, what I do is leave this to dry. It might take... Uh, depending on your product, I, I probably leave this overnight. So this will be a tomorrow morning job. Or if you did it early in the morning, then you could do it later that night. But um, probably eight hours 
maybe six hours depending on how the temperature and your humidity so the gloss varnish will dry virtually it's a little bit opaque here but it will dry clear um, and all that glitter will stay in place so that's the reason why you mix it up like this um, this is one I have this is what was left over in my cup last time and see how the glitter is all in place does it sticks completely together so all you have to do now is just let it dry I did get a couple of little bits fall off and like larger chunks um, in there I'm not going to fuss around trying to pick them out um, I'm probably going to make more damage than good if I did that so I'm not going to all I have to do now is let these dry then get plain clear resin and do a top coat because as you can see these are all at the base and then there's clear top coat on top this here I didn't get the bubbles out properly so there's a little bit hazy in the middle and then from there you can either you unmold it and this has got a little bit of a lip so I'm not sure if I'm going to do another clear coat over the top or whether I'm just going to sand down the lid but if I do a sand down the lid I'll have to do a clear coat coat anyway so but that's it so let me know what you think guys I'm actually really pleased with this I'm super excited to see how it turns out and the more you do it the more better you will get so um, including myself so hopefully when I do another one of these um, in six months time you'll go oh my god he must be practicing because um, those ones turned out even more awesome so <laughs> we will see all right thanks guys have a good one um, just the normal comment like share and subscribe if you have not already um if you can see a bubble or two just try to just get it with the toothpick because it's not going to pop easily by itself um and i wouldn't torch using gloss varnish i got a feeling it would be flammable by the smell of it at least so yeah awesome have fun and I will see you soon for another pour. And the finished pictures will be the thumbnail on the video. Okay? So these here that are finished, when I finish these off, that will be the thumbnail for the video. And then the actual demonstration will be this part. Cool. And if you have more questions, let me know. And hopefully I can do a combined video where I can actually add videos to other videos and show you the whole process from start to finish. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye. Oh. I didn't bring you down for a close-up. I don't have the best lighting for resin for some reason. It doesn't really work. I don't know why. And I don't think I can turn it on halfway through a video. No, I can't. Well, there they are. See how they're super glossy, shiny, shimmery. They will be really different once they are actually completely finished. Um, I don't know if holding it up is going to help, but look at that. That looks like hummingbird wings. There is a bubble or two that I am going to have to pop in this. And that, that background is... I can't focus while I've got no hands. That background glitter is a rainbow glitter. So it will give off quite different effects. But um, yeah, let me know how you, how you think, how, how you go. And if you do one of these, let me know. Tag me in a post if you do it somewhere or tag me in your video or send me a link to the video through um, YouTube or Messenger or something. I'd love to know how everyone goes and what they're doing. Um, but yeah, okay, I better go because my camera is about to run out of power. All right, have a good night and I will see you soon. Bye.